Mullooly. Sure, look, Nan, have you ever seen a, a, a game finish in quite such a dramatic form? Oh, well, what a game from start to finish today. The pace of the game, the crowd on both sides, the excitement that was there, sure. Munster Championship holding at its very, very best, and everybody delighted for Waterford that they've got another chance. I know we'd have liked they've held on there in the end, but Waterford deserved the draw at least, and I think the fairest result, if ever there was a fair result to a game, this was it today. A they tremendous have, game. They might have won it, Joe. They had that last three, and, and you were shaking, I'm sure. Definitely. We were really shaking there towards the end. They had us on the run for the last 20 minutes, you know. The, their level of fitness, their level of skill, their movement off the ball and on the ball, they're a tremendous team. Waterford have proven today that they are an outstanding team, and... Uh, what a day we're going to have here again whenever the replays. But you're still monster champions and you're still all Ireland. Well, Thomas. just hanging on by our fingernails, but we're still out there. Still in another day tonight. Sherlock Nan, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, a very frank Sherlock Nan, as you expect. Frank about his side's performance today and talking about the next day. What a day that should be. So presumably the quarter-final draw due for tonight will not now be able to take place because there has not been a loser here. Two sides who refuse to yield and refuse to die. And let's go down and get the Waterford perspective. Dan Shanahan scored three points. He's with Kieran. Dan Shanahan, what an incredible finish. Uh, first off, it's a great finish for Waterford. Came back in their part three stuff to go. On. And it was a great finish for Waterford. You showed in the second half that you would come back. A couple of superb goals. There's some great goals, Matt Nicole and Paul Flynn there. Fabulous scores. Even the first half, Anthony Cowan got a great goal. We have the ability to come back. We knew going in at that stage. Eight points down. We'll win like that. We won't score. <laughs> and as you, as you enjoy your drink, you must have thought at the end that, that, that you could have just snatched the victory. We could have, we could have snatched it. Yeah, we could have snatched at the end of it. Maybe two more, two more chances we could have snatched it. There, come in, Dan Shannock. Enjoy the rest of that Thanks, drink. Man. Congratulations. Thanks, yes, nobody will object to having another day out because it's uh, the kind of form that could well do the team so much good having another championship match under their belts before the All-Ireland series itself. Hope you enjoyed it. It's finished level. Yes, sir, we certainly did enjoy it. So Waterford know now, Pete Finnerty, they are good enough to be the Munster champions. They do know, and it was a very exciting finish. It seemed to die halfway through the second half, but typical Paul.